bread we take and eat, O Lord, is your body broken and shed with us. Your body broken and shed with us. The gift of your great Broken and 
Good morning, everybody. We gather today at the fourth Sunday of the church's year and reminded of the, the great commandment to love one another. Uh, it's one thing family love, another thing individual love, and uh, there are various aspects to love, but to love one another is... Uh, very, very demanding thing, a challenging thing, um, and yet Christ says this is what we should do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Welcome everybody, and uh, good day to you. Uh, things are looking up, it's bright outside, and it's a good thing to see. Um, today we offered Holy Mass for a, a Bernard uh, Forward who died recently um, at the request of the Connolly family, Brian and Mary, and, and uh, Mary and Sang Ricara, uh, Josephine's mother. To prepare ourselves now by celebrate the Holy Mysteries, we call to mind our own sins and ask God's forgiveness. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ of mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us praise God together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honour you with all our minds and hearts, 
and love you and love everyone in truth and of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the prophet Jeremiah. In the days of Josiah, the word of the Lord was addressed to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you came to birth, I consecrated you. I have appointed you as prophet to the nations. So now brace yourself for action. Stand up and tell them all I command you. Do not be dismayed at their presence, or in their presence I will make you dismayed. I, for my part, today will make you into a fortified city a pillar of iron and a wall of bronze to confront all this land. The kings of Judah, its princes, its priests and the country people, they will fight against you but shall not overcome you for I am with you to deliver you. It is the Lord who speaks. The word of the Lord. And the response, my lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me and save me. My lips lips will tell of your help. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me, for you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. My lips will tell of your help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. My lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth and I proclaim your wonders still. My lips. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a symbol clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are and knowing everything, <clears throat> and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but am without love, it will do me no good, whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. 
It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offence and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. But if there are gifts of prophecy, the time will come when they must fail. Or the gifts of languages, it will not continue forever. And knowledge, for this too, the time will come when it must fail. For our knowledge is imperfect, and our prophesying is imperfect. But once perfection comes, all imperfect things will disappear. When I was a child, I used to talk like a child, and think like a child, and argue like a child. But now I am an adult, all childish ways are put behind me. Now we are seeing a dim reflection in a mirror, but then we shall be seeing face to face. The knowledge that I have now is imperfect, but then I shall know as fully as I am known. In short, there are three things that last, faith, hope and love and the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus began to speak in the synagogue. This text is being fulfilled today, even as you listen. And he won the approval of all. And they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, No doubt you will quote me the saying, Physician, heal yourself. And tell me, we have heard all that happened in Capernaum. Do the same here in your own countryside. And he went on, I tell you solemnly, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, and none of these was cured, 
except the Syrian Naaman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. And they took him to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff. But he slipped through the crowd and walked away. The Gospel of the Lord. Reading, we have a, uh, a resonance for all of us. They apply really across the board. No matter what nationality, no matter what, where we come from, no matter what, uh, there is something in these readings that applies to all. Because it's just talking about human nature the vagaries of human nature. How difficult it is to, uh, you know, uh, accept somebody we've fallen out with uh, or somebody we disagree with vehemently because of their views. As Chris read there in the uh, first reading, the uh, when I was, or the second reading, St. Paul, when I was a child, I thought like a child, I spoke like a child, I behaved like a child. Now that I've grown up, uh, these childish ways should have vanished from me. That is true, it, uh, that happens. But it is wider than that. It's wider in the sense that the love that's spoken about today is not, uh, you know, uh, familial love in the family. The relationship within the family. The relationship of uh, brothers and sisters, no matter where they are. We're all familiar with people who, when they hear news from let's say home or some other place where their sisters, brothers are, or mom and dad, they immediately get there if they can, if it is bad news. And they go to rejoice with them if it's good news. But there is this common love that we should have for each other in a community in uh, where we're not related, where there is no uh, prior bond in as such, wherever we land. Jesus came back to his own town and he was not accepted there. Nelson Mandela returned to his own town after his training as a, bar, as a lawyer in Johannesburg and uh, he remarked that uh, how that that is a, a reality in itself to go to be reminded of something different to go to where things have not changed very much. There's always change going on. There's a new road, maybe, or something like that, but that kind of change. Where things have not changed very much, to remind yourself, yourself, we need reminding ourselves, to remind yourself of how much we have changed. That's the issue. The issue is not uh, 
how much have you changed, how much have you changed, how much have you changed, it's rather how much have we changed. And how much do we take it for granted that we are the same, but the others change? And change meaning even in, uh, among those whom we know very well then, we're, we have a certain expectation that you don't change from when I saw you last or when I met you last uh, and uh, so on. But I can change if I want to. Well, that's not an unreasonable statement to make, except that our expectations of others and of ourselves changes too. And we may be less accommodating in the second instance. We may be less a kind in our way of thinking. Oh, he or she has big notions about themselves now. Before, they were just one of us. Now they've gone up in the world and therefore they kind of fancy themselves. And they have a big house and they never stop talking about it. And they never stop talking about their work. These things can do things to you that make you want to criticize them and squeeze them down to the size they were before. The words of Paul and the words of Jesus himself, the experience of Jesus himself as well, is not to squeeze the life out of people or indeed their dreams or hopes or ambitions or their goals. It's to kind of encourage them, say, good for you, good for you. May you be successful in what you're doing. May you be even more successful. When you see people grow, when you are even have a small little kind of contribution to make of encouragement, of kindness, that is a great thing. We should not be trying to squeeze people down and keep them smaller. We should be trying to build them up and make them feel good. That's what parents do to their children. They have no difficulty with that. It's when the children grow up themselves and want to tell their parents how things should be done. The parents kind of think, oh, have I wasted my time with this thing? No, you haven't. You haven't wasted your time for one second and your attitude should still be the same. To build up, to forgive if forgiving is necessary, to be kind all the time and to encourage. If we're people like that, we will be a Christian community. If we're people not like that, well, we can call ourselves a Christian community, but we won't be because we're not following the Lord's ways. Very hard to be accepted in your own family, your own, Christ your own community that knows your weaknesses as well as your strengths. Let us try and put the weaknesses aside and play to the strengths. And now we make our profession of faith. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you to all our viewers online and to those who are, uh, will be seeing it later. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, 
born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the union of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you all. Let us pray today, my dear people, to trust in God's grace, to focus on eternal things rather than temporal things. And the response to the invocation, Lord, hear us, is Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the church to fully understand the essence and eternity of love in order to support one another in our pursuit of the higher gifts. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the leaders of the church as they preach love. May they witness in love and charity and so draw her children to Christ, who is love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our political leaders and our society at large, that with all the uncertainties, anxieties and fears that the present realities bring, our faith and trust remain steadfast and resolute in the greatness of love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. As we reflect on the Holocaust, cruelty and other injustices that pervaded and still permeate human existence, may we come to the realization that it is the same human kindness and love that overcomes and transcends. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray especially for the youth suffering under depression of any kind and those experiencing crises of faith as a result of the pandemic. May they find love in their family and loved ones and be healed again in mind and body. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the sick, the dying and those due to life situations that are feeling hopeless and frustrated. For your eternal love shown through humanity, grace, and on those who look after them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have died recently. Bernard Harrington. Irene Woodger, John King, Josephine Azapadi, Bernard Forward, Elsie Wong Chow Lin, Joe Power, and Margaret Essen. And for those whose anniversary occurs at this time, Madeline Herford, Rosemary Palmer, Bernie Giles, Winifred Winder, and Noreen Johnson. May God, in his infinite mercy, grant those that they have left behind comfort in the memories they have.
Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the intercession of our Mother Mary, as we say together, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We pray for a while in silence for our own intentions. Heavenly Father, we pray this day through the intercession of Christ, your Son, for those we wish to pray for. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ. who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, we bring to your Lord for this day these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you all. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, who is our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin Mary. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising again from the dead, he gave us eternal life. So with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we join in your hymn of glory and praise together as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The third Eucharistic prayer now this day, uh, we pray for Bernard Forward, who has uh, just died, and for Mary Ann Sandra Carla, 
whose uh, anniversary occurs around this time, Josephine's mother. The third Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and mercy of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He, bro he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again he gave you thanks and praise. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pay upon the offering of your church and recognize in the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servants, Francis our Pope, Richard our Bishop, and the entire people your son has gained for you. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family you've gathered before you this day. In your compassion, a merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, Bernard and Marianne, and all our brothers and sisters for whom we now pray. You have called them from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in the glory of his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh all those who have died 
and transform our lowly bodies into the pattern of his gloriously risen body. For all our departed brothers and sisters, and we remember uh, we celebrated the Holocaust uh, during the week, uh, Holocaust Remembrance Day, that is, and uh, all those who have died in turmoil and wars in the world, and all those whom you wish to remember yourselves. Give, kind admittance, give them kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. When you will wipe away all tears from our eyes, for seeing you are God as you are, we shall become like you and praise you for the ages without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us now, many people, pray with confidence in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, who bless all those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Now this morning for communion you will come up uh, the centre area 
and the two Eucharistic ministers will stand at the corner of the steps there, the first step on the step in front of you. People on the side, they come first. There's nobody on that side, so there, unless you guys can know. That's the way it is. Okay, thank you very much.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may be ever increased. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Now, there are slight modifications to the um, way we do things uh, during Mass today um, and going forward. Uh, the guidance has changed, um, or they would say, I suppose, altered uh, a little bit uh, for your help. We will continue with track and trace and sanitizing our hands uh, before and after Mass. And for Holy Communion, we will come up the middle and down the sides. Uh, the Eucharistic ministers will actually stand on this side, on the very edge, the outs outside periphery there, to allow a fan kind of shape to, uh, so that people are not bunched together in the middle. So the idea is to spread out uh, when we come up here. And. Um, you can leave by either the main entrance or the side entrance, whichever is your preference. And uh, uh, if that side door is, for any reason, apparently shut, it's not locked because it has a, 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 rat, a thing in the door to just release it out, uh, you can go out that way. And uh, the other item was that um, I said a startling statistic uh, in the newsletter, and there's nothing startling about people being sick or infirm or frail. But in actual fact, it meant to say um, that between 19, or 2019 and 2021, 21% of all the clergy in Ireland, which included bishops, priests, and brothers, 21% of them, percent of them died. So that's a considerable statistic indeed, and that was, that's what it's meant to say. It didn't say it because I didn't write it down, so it's not the person who, who copied the, my writing that uh, is at fault there. Other than that, um, I wish you all a very, very good week. I hope school goes well for you, and I hope uh, you're all well indeed in your families and throughout the world and in other places. The Lord be with you all. May Almighty God bless you now, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is now ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord and one another too. Thank you very much indeed. I wish you all a very, very good week.
Great to see Simon back. Thank you, Simon. Good to see you. And thanks to Chris and Rookie, uh, who held the fort for you, and Chris, who continues faithfully. Thank you very much indeed. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good week. Thank you.